Well, even though the, the severe thunderstorm watch uh, has been discontinued, we are tracking one strong thunderstorm across coastal Connecticut. So we'll start with the Doppler radar. And you can see towards uh, Old Saybrook, Connecticut, getting ready to approach uh, Groton, New London. Uh, this is strong to actually borderline severe. So while, you know, the risk of anything widespread, you know, covering our area in terms of severe thunderstorms has diminished and the severe thunderstorm has watch has been discontinued, uh, we are tracking this with some interest. So Groton, New London, Westerly, I mean, even out towards Block Island, get a close up look here. And this is tracking off now to the east and uh, southeast right now. And torrential rain, poor visibility, gusty wind, even the potential for some hail with this. Here's Groton, New London, and here is Westerly. You see some additional showers developing, getting ready to move into Washington County. Uh, overall, those are not severe, but this is tracking off to the east. So really, areas kind of circled right in here. We'll have to be watching this over the next 30 to 60 minutes, and I would actually probably include Block Island in this as well. But it's really the only storm that's out there, so nothing widespread, fortunately. In Newport, it's mainly cloudy. There was a little filtered sun earlier. It is still humid for now. Speaking of filtered sunshine, clouds in Providence, but a little brightening of the sky as well. So the widespread severe weather really not materializing today. But with that said, we'll keep the threat tracker somewhat elevated for the next hour or two, mainly for uh, the South Shore, coastal Rhode Island, coastal Connecticut, and Block Island. Elsewhere, I really don't expect much in the way of thunder. This sets up for actually a very nice Thursday. In the meantime, temps are in the upper 70s to around 80. In fact, the temperature has actually gone up a few degrees in Providence, now at 80 degrees. So lower humidity, drier air is on the way, and that'll be courtesy of this front as it moves offshore. Drier air behind it, low humidity will work in tonight into Thursday. But it's the front itself that's helping to initiate a few isolated storms across uh, coastal Connecticut. So we're getting real close, and you take a look at this starting off this evening, and our computer model is actually handling this very well. This storm near Connecticut and may clip the South Shore next hour, and then by you know eight nine o'clock or nine ten o'clock, this activity is long gone. Skies are clearing out. Sets up for a real nice Thursday. This is seven o'clock in the morning. We're looking good. Here we are tomorrow afternoon. Uh, upper seventies to lower eighties. So comfortable temperatures, low humidity. Very nice day. Five o'clock in the evening, we're looking good. And then later tomorrow night, a few extra clouds, but dry and comfortable temperatures, upper 60s to around 70. So, any risk of a passing thunderstorm near the south shore moving out by eight, nine o'clock this evening with gradual clearing thereafter by six in the morning at about 63 degrees. We're looking good for tomorrow morning with the sunshine, uh, temperatures rising through the mid and upper 70s. And we're closing in on uh, close to 80. Sunshine and fair weather clouds, dry, comfortable. The humidity Humidity is a lot lower. Bay forecast has unlimited visibility and a north breeze turning west. Beaches, not bad either. Sunshine, less humid. Air temperature in the upper 70s. All right, seven day forecast. Friday, not perfect, but definitely not bad or a washout. Just an isolated shower under mainly sunny skies near 80. Saturday still looks good. Still a chance of a shower. Not a storm day or a rain day, but a shower on Sunday and a high temperature at around 80. So the risk of widespread storms is gone, but Groton, New London, westerly, south shore, next hour or two. We'll watch it closely. All right, thank you, Tony.